I would never be rude to a puppy. That's my puppy. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Wolfie's channel, or welcome back to Wolfie's channel. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that wouldn't be the most popular channel on the YouTube. Oh, and if you think that's not true, you're on the wrong channel, and you can just click off right now. Because he's beautiful. Yes, yes. Oh, he's a beautiful and bright-eyed, and I believe he might have a bushy tail. Yes. Was that a good close-up of his teeth? I can't see what you're seeing, so I don't know. Hopefully oh. it was. Chris just walks off and leaves the water running in the kitchen. Was coming back. We had a couple dishes we need to get done before we start dinner, so... That's actually the skillet I used to make Ben's egg sandwiches. Ben's not spoiled or anything, though. No. And there was almost all the plates again, even though there weren't that much last night. So, it's late, and we have a whole day's worth of dishes that need to be done before we can start dinner. Mm -hmm. And it is late, too. It's 7.39. Uh, we went over to the post office and mailed off Darren's gift card the giveaways winners gift card and Darren if you're watching this it went in the mail but I got there after the daily pickup from that box because you know it says on it like mail is picked up at 5 p.m. Or, or whenever it was and I forget when it was but it was like an hour before I got there <laughs> so it won't go out until tomorrow but it's on its way there you go Let's see, what else is going on, Wolfington? What else would nobody? He's watching Quest do the dishes. He's saying that means Mommy might make some dinner. And he's starved plum to death. You know, Grandma, he gets awful hungry being a little dog. I know. I know. That's why I eat so much cheese. Oh, good heavens. Listen to her over there. Blaming you for her cheese eating ways. I tell you. He matches me bite for bite. That's your fault. And you know what? I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating cheese that um, sharp cheddar I got the other day. Uh -huh. Boy, was I ever glad I got that. But anyway, I'll tell you about that in a minute. So I was eating this cheese. And I would cut a little slice of it to go on my crackers, yeah. two crackers, because, you know, I'm civilized. And I would cut and just shave the thinnest little slice of cheese. For him. And he got his, and then I ate my cracker. And then he was irritated with me because I ate my cracker too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, you laughed at you a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She does that some days. Oh, you're so pretty, baby. And they called it puppy love. Because it is. Because <laughs> I love my puppy. He's my big boy. But anyway, so the other night I just got to feeling so bad. And I felt like I needed something to eat. But I didn't know what. And everything I could think of was just like, no, no that's not it. it. That's not it. And I even thought about toast. And I thought, mm -mm. Uh -uh, no. And finally, I remembered, because I never buy myself cheese, do I, Mom? I, like, no. never do. But I had bought myself a little block of cheese. And I thought, you know, that doesn't sound bad. And I have crackers, so... And I sat there and ate about four ounces of cheese with half a sleeve of crackers <laughs> and felt so much better. It was exactly what my body wanted. Uh -huh. So it really did make me feel so much better. Sometimes my stomach is disagreeable. Yeah. <laughs> If you can read the lips, you know what I said. Um, my stomach is so touchy. And rejects 
certain foods and things. And if I go ahead and try to eat it, I'll just throw it back up. You know, I know that's gross, but it's true. <coughs> My stomach will not have it. By so, the time you were a toddler. From the time I was a tiny little kid, I would barf on command. Remember the time that the uh, babysitter insisted that you eat the spaghetti? Mm -hmm. You threw it back up on me. Sounds like me. We were talking about these one pills we have to get the capsules of, even though it's easier to get the soft gels. But every time I take one of the soft gels, I just throw it right back up. Doesn't make me feel sick or anything. It just it stay. will not stay in my stomach. That can't just be me. I've done so much for my stomach. Ungrateful organ that it is. <laughs> I don't even take, like, Nexium or Prilosec or any of those anymore. Now I take this something or another inhibitor that they don't like you to take because your stomach becomes dependent on it. And it's just like, dude, I'll be dependent on it. I don't care. If it helps my stomach, I'll do it, you know. Sometimes I wonder about marijuana because it's supposed to be so soothing and calming of your stomach. Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons uh, people on chemo take it is because then they don't get sick. And I've wondered if like the CBD oils and stuff would help my stomach. I ought to talk to the doctor about that. Yeah. Well, she randomly drug tests me every now and then. I mean, it's not her, it's my insurance company does random drug testing. And when you go in, just every now and then, they make you go pee in a cup. And that's fine, because I don't do any illegal drugs. But I'd be afraid to take that CBD oil and stuff for fear it would trigger, trigger a positive response on, uh -huh. on a drug screening. I don't need to take illegal drugs. I take a pathetic amount of prescription drugs, and that's enough. Thank you. It's it's awful. Every night I pour this handful of pills oh. out and try to swallow them in one go. I said, one of these days I'm gonna they're gonna find me choked to death on a, a cholesterol pill or something. They will. Oh. That good? Yeah, you're awful pretty. Yeah, I got a puppy. But anyway, bad stomach notwithstanding, tonight I'm making cheeseburgers and hamburgers and burgers. Wolfie gets a cheeseburger. The last time I forgot to put cheese on his burger. Mom called me on it. It's <laughs> like, well, damn, I forgot the dog requires a slice of cheese. He is spoiled, but we love him. He's a little spoiled. He wants one cheeseburger, no bun. You don't need a bun. Don't want no bun. He wants the buns replaced with two extra patties. Yeah, he would like that. He would definitely take that. So Got my bags and, and hats over there. <laughs> so cheese with on both sides of the middle patty. Mm -hmm. And two more patties is the new bun. Sounds like that sandwich KFC did that used chicken breast for bun. Mm -hmm. I can't even remember what was in the middle of that. Another chicken. Yeah. Yeah, but... Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it was chicken, bacon, and cheese, but I'm not sure. Could have been just chicken and cheese. Now I am ready to go get in my car, drive back into town, and get, your... and get me some KFC. Yeah. And I wouldn't have to cook it. That's always nice. But everybody loves hamburgers, and if I try to say no hamburgers tonight after I promised them, they'll mute me. 
can't Wolf have that. Wolf would maul her. Wolf would maul me. Chris, what did you think about the KFC chicken nuggets? Them tiny ass things. Those were chicken nuggets. They, they were, were good, but they, they were big. Been better. They were big popcorn chicken pieces. That's all they were. They were not a nugget. Is a, a nugget is a nugget. Yeah, very That's a that's a popcorn chicken. We got him an eight pack, and I swear the box was only about that big square. That looks like it could have the Pez dispenser. I said I I said it looks like it should have two nuggets in it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Maybe three. Too. But it had eight large popcorn chicken sized thingies that were hardly nuggets. Biggest rip off I've ever seen in my life. Because they're not cheap. Oh, no. I found out why it discontinued popcorn chicken, by the way. Why? To stick it to the review bombs. The review bombs were saying, don't even bother buying a famous bowl to have popcorn chicken on, just order popcorn chicken. So KFC decided to combat the review bombs, get rid of popcorn chicken, so they don't have an alternative. That doesn't really sound very true. They got rid of our chicken liver, too. Yeah, that was first. That hurts. It's been gone for some time. It still hurts. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm telling you, I'm going to stay home and make the hamburgers. But if they had liver over there, it might be another story. <laughs> it might just be another story, Wolf. They don't have liver, so you don't have to worry about it, buddy. He said, if Mommy bought me home liver, I would forgive her. <laughs> forgive her for liver. Loves livers. He's a boy. I made that beef and beef liver and onions the other day. Did my best to burn it up, didn't I, Mom? I tried. Good cooks always burn the food. I must be one Do great cook. Do we need the door open? Yeah. The fresh air is nice. Until the dog dumps out after a cat. Like he would do that. He would go after a cat. Walk a little lady by and see what happened. He might run down a little old lady. He likes <laughs> little old ladies. He's a good boy, though. He's absolutely hypnotized by Chris over there rattling the wrapper. Mm -hmm. What, gum? Yeah. Chris eats gum. He doesn't chew it right. I must not have told him that old wives' tale enough when he was little about gum staying in your stomach for seven years yeah. or whatever. Oh, well, I should have told him that. I know it's a lie, but maybe he wouldn't eat his gum now. Uh -uh. Funny thing about that, people. What? It passes right through you. Just like anything else you eat. I like gum. Gum. Bubble gum. But of course it has to soften up real good. You want some of his? No. Backwards, what's it called? Ooey. Ooey baby ooey. It's wrap snacks. Let ooey me take you on a sea cruise. Wrap snacks. Ooey lemonade fruit punch flavor. Hard work pays off, right? So, you guys ready to hear? Sure. My take on it? Sure. I'm opening it now. It actually smells good. He's tasting it. Taking his time, but he's tasting it. Don't pretty. Cut the video. We gotta go get more. That's not happening. <laughs> oh, I spent a dollar and a quarter, too. For a set of 50 Prang colored pencils. I forget um, where I've seen these before. Probably on YouTube. 
but uh, I've also seen them for sale, and they're usually a lot more than $1.25. So when I saw them at the Dollar Tree, I said, you know what, I'm going to try them. I know I can't color right now or even draw or do anything like that with my eyes the way they are, but, you know, I'm going to get them fixed. Oh, Mom me, doesn't believe me, and I don't blame her. Let me tell you something right now. What? Ooey Lemonade Fruit Punch. Okay, if you've tried lemonade before, and if you've tried fruit punch before, you know what you're signing up for. Well, that's right. It's literally the... It's literally the taste of fruit punch atop lemonade. That's the only way you can describe it, but the taste doesn't do that description justice, you know? The description doesn't do the drink justice. You just gotta try it for yourself. What other flavors did they have? This was the only one they had. But hmm. it does look like it's a big deal of something because the Wrap Snacks part of the name is actually the distributor. And it okay. was made to support Boss Up Atlanta Children's Shelter charity, you know? Must have not done very well if it ended up in a Delaware, Ohio Dollar Tree. Yeah, Either you that. that it was Chris. Yeah. Either that, or oh, it's maybe it's busy just busy ridiculously hard to find, and the only place we could find it was a dollar, dollar tree. Either way you look at it, all proceeds go to it, not just those that came out when it first came up. Well, Chris, you, you know, got anything interesting coming up? Cinco de Mayo party tomorrow. Did you do anything for May the 4th today? No. Nope. We just went bowling and did not do any Star Wars activity. Did you make any sort of Star Wars themed joke while bowling? <coughs> no, but I wore my Star Wars shirt. I could have sworn I could have heard Kissy Frog bowling lanes saying, I'm knocking down pins with the Death Star. I did not do that though. I should have, but I didn't. Oh well, next time you happen to be bowling on a main four. Now you have something to remember. What's your Cinco de Mayo party going to be? I think I still need to bring the lunch, but I don't know. Just Cinco de Mayo themed snacks and stuff. And we're hanging out green, with green tea. Well, if you don't know whether you have to take your lunch, what are you going to do? I'm going to ask if I need to bring a lunch or if there will be a lunch provided. The schedule doesn't even specify if we're getting lunch or not. Well, you better call somebody and find out. I'll do that shortly. So, Kissy for and now. other stuff, I found out that a certain movie hit the one billion dollar mark. Okay. The Super Mario Bros. movie. I yeah, I heard it actually debuted at top of charts in Japan. Did you know? Yep. Okay, who's got something to add? Because I'm going to finish up this video. Let's pickle. Let's a pickle. That's let's a go, but I know what you're doing. Sounds just like you saying, let's a pickle. We love Mario in this house. I'm not, I'm not this is a Mario friendly channel. Played. What? Mario? Mario? Mario! That's from Luigi's first game that was not an edutainment game, by the way. Luigi's mm -hmm. Mansion. Yeah, I know about that one. And just about anyone who follows us on here <laughs> will probably have picked that up. Okay, thank you for joining us. I hope you'll come back and see us. Today is Thursday? Yeah, yeah Thursday. That doesn't seem right somehow. Thursday. Um, we probably will be 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 be. We'll probably be back Sunday, but you should be subscribed and ring the bell so you get notifications because I'm not on a regular schedule anymore, and I really got to fix that. I really do. Be 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 be. So come back and see us probably Sunday. Ring the bell though so you'll know. And, um, Darren, let me know when your card comes so I can stop worrying about it. And we'll talk to you later. 
Say goodbye to the back of Wolf's head. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.